Okay, first things first. Uh, safety is very, very important. And even though this is drained down to the point where it wouldn't uh, keep a flame on a heater or, or my torch or anything like that, there's still some compressed gas inside. So I'm gonna use a screwdriver here. So you can hear all of that releasing. That's a lot, and I'm gonna try not to breathe it in. So see, what this is showing here is that just because it's too empty to continue using on a torch or whatever, doesn't mean that it's completely empty. And we do not want to cut into a pressurized tank of, uh, of propane. I'm gonna wait for that hissing to completely stop before I move on to the next step. Okay, now that I've let all that air, all that uh, compressed gas out, I am going to uh, use a hacksaw to make my first cut. Now this is very important. Do not move straight to grinder or any kind of power tool because the risk of spark at this point could actually be too dangerous. So we're gonna start out with a hacksaw and we're gonna make our first cut. Now see, even though I've already drained it completely with the, uh, with the screwdriver, when I broke through here, I started hearing hissing, which is exactly what I mean by don't just go straight at it with a power tool. Okay. Once you have the first cut made and you want it to be a pretty good long cut, we're gonna move on to the next step. Okay, I waited a couple of minutes to just let it uh, kind of air out for a minute with that cut in it. And now I'm gonna light a stick, standing way back. And once I have that stick lit, hold on, that took a little longer than I thought. And once I have that stick lit, I'm just gonna go ahead and light that tank. And as you can see, see there's still fa flammable fuel inside that tank. So we're gonna wait for that to completely burn out. Now this part's not all that important for safety reasons, but uh, it'll make it easier in the long run if we have a little bit of a pour spout on the crucible when we're done. So I'm just gonna go ahead and knock one in. And there you go. There's your completed crucible. And when we uh, start up that forge, I can melt aluminum in here and it should last for several firings uh, before I'll need to replace it. And uh, luckily enough, I use a lot of the, these propane tanks, and so when I do need to replace it, I'll just make another one. And that's our completed project. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, but as the warning at the beginning of the video says, please do not attempt this without uh, thought put into the safety measures that need to be taken. Uh, I went ahead, and this is the one that I made in the video, but here are the two test runs before I even started the video because I wanted to make sure that it was going to work and that it wasn't going to be a fluke before I posted it online irresponsibly. Please keep safety in mind. Also, something I didn't mention uh, during the project but I needed to mention before I, uh, before I published this was that you should always wear a respirator, ear protection, and some sort of uh, face and eye protection while working with any of this stuff. Uh, especially with the, the, the gas coming out of this whenever I was releasing it. And please uh, do not use a full can and empty it. That would not only be wasteful, but it's bad for the planet. Uh, I only used the empty ones that wouldn't be useful in any other way because I, they had already run out on the torch. So be sure and uh, make sure that this can's not the only thing that's staying green. Uh, one more thing... Uh, before I go is I want to go ahead and give a little shout out. I went and ate at a place called Fat Rolls Bakery yesterday in Prairie Grove, Arkansas. If you are ever uh, in and around 
Prairie Grove, Arkansas, you should definitely go check out Fat Rolls Bakery. I'll also go ahead and uh, put a link to their website as well as their Facebook page down in the description. Uh, they're located at 116 North Mock Street in Prairie Grove, Arkansas. So, uh, if, like I said, if you're ever around uh, this area and you are looking for a place to eat, you should go check them out. They're pretty cool. My t-shirts are on their way in the mail right now, and I will do a reveal video as soon as I get them. And they're available for purchase right now, uh, and, and will be once they get here as well, uh, up on the website, rowanwoodart.com. So go and check that out if you haven't already. Also, uh, this one, in this video, I didn't go ahead and uh, cast any aluminum, but now we are ready for that. So if you haven't already, please subscribe so that you can check out those videos whenever I get them up. Thank you.